Over the past 12 seasons, few players have been more dominant inside the paint than Houston Rockets' Dwight Howard. The eight-time All-Star entered the league the first overall pick in the 2004 NBA draft, fresh out of high school. Coming into the league, you had a mission. What was the mission? My mission uh, was to preach God's word you know, in the NBA, use the NBA as a platform for God. But for a 19-year-old entering the NBA, Dwight says it was a daily struggle to stay focused on God. There was times where it was very overwhelming, where it's like, man, this is so much, and everything is at my disposal. You know, all I got to do is just go reach, and it's mine. In nine seasons with the Magic, Dwight became a three-time Defensive Player of the Year, made six All-Star Game appearances, and became the franchise's all-time leading scorer. But with success came temptation. And in 2007, he became a father and wasn't married. And he took a lot of heat because of it. If you're a professional athlete and you come out and tell the world, hey, I'm a Christian, for some reason, for people that don't quite understand what that means, all of a sudden believe that you can't make mistakes. That is correct. When I came out, you know, I want everybody to know that I am a man of faith. I believe in God and I will always believe in him. And, you know, the minute I messed up, the minute I sinned, everybody took a shot at me. Hey, you're supposed to be a Christian, but Jesus died on the cross for our sins, you know? So if he's willing to forgive us, why can't we forgive each other? Towards the end of the 2012 season, rumors of friction between him, his coach, and teammates began to brew. Everybody made me look like the, the worst guy in the world, a coach killer, a guy who hates his teammates, a cancer, all this stuff that I'm not. Then in August, Dwight was traded to the Lakers. There, it was difficult for him to play at a high level because he still needed time to heal from surgery. You know, I'm trying to play, but I'm still not 100%, you know? And I was getting demolished for that. Ah, oh, he's not playing hard enough. He can't dunk anymore, he can't do this. And I'm like, God, why do I have to go through this? But he said, just keep going, you know, just stay strong. When the season concluded, Dwight was a free agent and decided to leave Los Angeles and sign with the Rockets. And that didn't go over well with Laker fans. And now everybody hates me again. I'm like, oh my <laughs> God, like God, like please just do something. And you know, he said, listen, man, if the whole world hates you, I love you. I always remember that, you know? So I was like, okay. And I just tried to put away all the, the hate and everything like that and just focus on my relationship with him. Now Dwight is in his third season with Houston. Make no mistake about it, he wants to win. He's just working hard to remember his true calling. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, I just remember, you know, this whole, like it was yesterday. Uh, wow. When you look at that guy, how was that guy in that newspaper shot different from the guy I'm sitting across from right now? Uh, well, I would say this guy in the newspaper is full of life. Uh, no care in the world, no worry. Um, was a young kid who didn't know anything about the world. And then the guy that's in front of you is a guy who's seen, heard, been around, been through a lot of different situations. Uh, and if I was to go back and tell the guy in this picture right here, I would say never let nothing steal your joy because you're going to go through hell. That's a lesson Dwight had to learn the hard way. And today, his mission is still the same. When I'm on the floor, you know, let people see, you know, the guy in me, you know, whether that be me having fun, blocking a shot and smiling, dunking and smiling, whatever it may be, but just having fun and playing with peace and joy. What has Jesus Christ meant to you? Man, just like my rock, you know what I'm saying? My foundation, when things are going wrong, when, you know, I'm at a bad place when I sin, you know, I feel like he's there. He's my foundation. Like, he hurts when I sin, but instead of him turning his back on me, it's like, hey, come back. I still love you. I'm not going to leave. I'm here for you. We connected forever, you know, so that's, that's what he is.